Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be playing with the new Raw Beauty Christie X Pure um, palette. And I'm sure if you know anything about makeup or what is going on, you have heard about this palette. This is the Unicarton here. And in the back, it just shows a picture of Christie. If you don't know who she is, she's a fellow YouTuber here. Um, and she does um, like makeup tutorials. She's been on YouTube for I think eight years now and I am so very happy for her. Um, she seems like a really great person and I waited 15 hours to purchase this palette. Came out at 12 noon here in Virginia and I got it about 3, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. So um, as you can tell I was really excited to get it. So um, the two, uh, it's a two sided palette which I don't have in my collection. One's a colorful side and one is an everyday um, neutral side. So I think we're going to play with just both. Um, on the Unicarton itself um, there's a magnet which I really really like and both sides um, they do have mirrors and it is like I said a two sided palette. And there's the other side. And she hand drew everything that's on here and came up with all the color names on there. Um, I, I just, I love it. <laughs> I'm really excited. I have played around with this palette one other time just because before I review, I, I, I sometimes like to, you know, play around with the palette. Um, this formula is great. Now, I've never tried anything from Pure... Um, no, never tried anything from Pure that I can think of. So I don't know if this is the regular Pure eyeshadow formula, but if it is, then it's a really good formula. So I'm going to play with both sides today. Um, I have already primed my lids with, if you know me, it's the Believe Beauty from Dollar General. It's just the Lock It In eyeshadow primer. It works great. It's under $5 and I love it. So the first color that I'm going to go in with, it's going to be my whole heart to, let me do it this way here, my whole heart here and then I'm going to go into this shade right here which I believe is called It Just Does. So there is a lot of kick up in the pan um, initially, but she did say that there is not a lot of fallout, which I did not find a lot of fallout with this palette on first use. This is my only second time using it. Um, but fallout doesn't really bother me. She said she had had her palette for months and months and months and still hasn't hit pan. These go on so smooth. They're very pigmented, but if you're very intimidated or just starting out with makeup, they blend so easily that it's, it's, I mean, it's not an issue being that they're pigmented. They just go on um, very nicely. So I'm going to take that uh, peach color it just does on the same fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put that a little bit lower than where I just put that first initial shade. I took up uh, my whole heart up to almost my eyebrow bone just because it's a light shade and it kind of just sets that eyeshadow primer and as you can tell this is a peachy shade which I absolutely love and this is only two dips into both sides by the way um, at TJ Maxx if you guys ever go this is a BH Cosmetic 101 brush it's a big fluffy brush. They wash so well. Um, if you can get your hands on BH Cosmetic brushes, I bought the Morphe brushes not too long ago and I've washed them twice and they're already fraying. And I'm, I'm not saying anything bad about Morphe. I'm just saying these BH, BH, BH Cosmetic brushes are, are nice. All right, so now that I've got kind of a base laid down, I'm gonna go into the colorful side and let's see here. Um, I'm gonna go into I think I am orange and f what is this flavor town these two shades right here and I'm just gonna put that just a little bit lower on a more small domed brush and here's one of the brushes I was talking about this is the Morphe M330 and I am so sorry if you hear rain here in Virginia it is pouring on a Tuesday and I'm just wearing a sweater and super comfortable but I wanted to get on here and I wanted to share you uh, share with you guys this palette and my thoughts on it because I think it's a great palette I really do and it can be like I said for every day or you know for more colorful times I like to wear color all the time but 
All right, and that again, just had a little bit of fallout, but nothing too extreme. So I'm gonna go ahead on a very, very tiny brush. This is the Morphe E6, I'm sorry, E36 brush. And I'm gonna go into that Flavor Town, and I'm just gonna put it on the outer edge here, kind of deepen things up. And there's a purple in this palette, and I love purple. I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line, I think. And this is my problematic eye. It may look skippy, but it's not the palette. It's it's my eye. I don't know if it's just from where my eye wrinkles are or what the deal is, but. All right, so I'm gonna take that purple that's called Tribute, and it's right here. And I'm gonna take it and just put it right underneath the lower lash line here. Again, you don't have to buy this palette for the, I mean, it's just got pops of color. I'm just making it fun. I don't know how often I would wear this, you know, out, but I also work 40 hours a week, so <laughs> I, I don't know at a hotel if that would be appropriate. So in the, in the two sides, there's Cafe Disco, which is a shimmer shade, and then there is Golden Ticket. She is a Willy Wonka fan, and I have found that I like Golden Ticket better. So I'm just going to take that right in my inner corner here and pat that on. The other color, the other, uh, what was it called? It was called Cafe Disco. I do like that for, an, we're going to use that for an inner corner highlight in just a minute, but I just, I really like the gold. All right, so I'm going to take that other color, the other um, Cafe Disco, and I'm going to take it on a flat shader brush. This is the Morphe M2, uh, M213 brush, and I'm going to pop that right in my inner corner. And as you can see, it is just as sparkly and just as pretty as the other shades. I'm going to take um, a Stila eyeliner. It's the, what is this, Stila Smudge Stick eye proof eye, eye, Waterproof Eyeliner in Bluefin. And I'm just going to underline my eyes with it just for a pop of blue here. I thought that would be kind of fun. Put it right in my waterline. And this has, hold on a second, this has a little bit of sparkle in it, but it's a really, really cool um, eyeliner pencil. I know this isn't about the eyeliner pencil, but if you find it, I found this at TJ Maxx and I really like it a lot. All right, let me pop some mascara on here. And I believe we are done. I know that that is short and sweet and to the point, but like I said, I wasn't really reviewing it. I just wanted to share with you guys how much I really truly love this palette. And if you are thinking about getting it, it is not going to be on the Pure website. I don't know if it's still available. It's not gonna be like one of their staple products. Um, unfortunately, I wish it was, but it's not. But if you do have your chance, if you have a chance to get it, or if you already have, let me know what you guys think uh, down below. But like I said, I love this palette. There is the finished look. I hope you guys have um, enjoyed. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. And before I go, I'm giving a big giveaway July 31st. So I'll put all the descriptions in um, how to enter and whatnot in the description box below. So make sure you pay attention to that. It's going to be an amazing giveaway. I hope you guys have a good week, and I'll see you in the next video.